Well, we are in the Chrysler 200. It's a beautiful four-door sedan. It is driving fabulously. It, it, it has pickup. It, it brakes well. Um, it's very comfortable seats. It's an easy ride. It, it, it's not the kind of car where you have to be paying, I hate to say paying attention, but it's a it's it's an easy ride. It it um, handles well. It feels right. It feels in proportion to what I want in a car. Um, I am a sedan fan, and this would be a car that I would buy. Pure and simple. This this car would fit me. This car would fit my lifestyle. It certainly would fit my budget. Um, and what we were talking about earlier was this Chrysler does not make you buy a lot of, of extra features. They, they have a lot of, of standard features and will not be charging you for every extra, uh, which I love from a marketing standpoint, from a ease so that you know what your final purchase price is and what you're getting as opposed to all these a la carte um, features that add up almost the price of the car by the time you get done with them. Um, you'll see that we're going over the curves again very smooth ride acceleration works brakes this is um, a very organic sort of car it feels natural it feels right it feels as if you would enjoy driving this car and very few um, value cars have that where you sort of are missing you go oh geez if I had another 10 15 20 30 thousand dollars I could really have a car that I would enjoy driving that would have everything this car at, at, the, at the price it is gives you that experience it gives you that feel oh geez you get a sense that you are getting a good deal with this car, that you are getting what you need, getting more, and um, I think anyone who buys this car would be very happy. It's, it's very good for a family. Um, as I said, my family, we always had sedans, and, and we, I mean, this is roomy. It has great um, cargo space. The back seat would fit two adults easily, some kids. Um, I think this would be a car for families looking for technology, comfort, the Chrysler name and reputation, which is impeccable, and incredible, incredible value. Um, why don't you tell us some of the other features? Um, it's got some great features. The instrument cluster is a seven inch full color LED display. There's nine different screens that the driver can choose from. Everything from the digital speedometer readout to turn by turn navigation directions or your real time fuel economy. In the center console, um, Chrysler purposely does redundant controls where you'll have knobs that operate the radio and the climate control, or there's the buttons on the touch screen. Um, that's to fit different buyer style. For example, my mom wants the knobs, but my kids that are in their 20s and only use their smartphones, they want the touch screen ability. So that way every driver's comfortable and can keep their hands on the wheel and eyes on the road and how the car operates isn't gonna interfere with the driving for that. It's a fully electronic um, shifting. So it's just the small rotary knob which allows us for great storage in the center console because where all the mechanicals used to be for the traditional shifter aren't there anymore. Um, it's a nine speed automatic transmission on all of the models. It's um, the only transmission available. It's great for fuel economy. The fuel economy of the new 2015 Chrysler 200 improved five miles a gallon to where it's rated at 36 miles per gallon highway. The V6 option is rated at 32 miles a gallon highway. Um, it is available with all wheel drive and it's really a unique system in that it's got a fully disconnecting rear axle where if you don't need the all wheel drive, it'll drive in front wheel drive, but it disconnects at the rear drive module and at the power transfer unit. So you don't have the parasitic loss of gears and transmissions and all of the parts and pieces spinning when you don't need them. So that also helped us with the fuel economy. It's got our great Uconnect um, Media Center, which offers navigation, climate control. There's the option of heated and cooled seats in the front seat here and a heated steering wheel. We're in the S model with the unique Ambassador Blue interior trim. That's a little bit sportier model, so it's got a sport-tuned suspension 
and different um, throttle maps, shifting points, and things like that for a little bit more of an, not quite aggressive, but a sportier driving experience. There's also the paddle shifters on the steering wheel. If a person really wants more of a sport driving experience, they can go through with the paddle shifters versus the automatic transmission. Two things that I like is I love, I can look very quickly and see in big letters how fast I'm going. I've driven a couple of cars where it was situated where I really couldn't see it easily. And as one who does not want a speeding ticket, I love that feature. The other feature I really love is the space down here where I can easily put a purse. There, it, it, my, my son is always annoyed when I put my purse by his feet in the front seat of a car and if it's in the back I can't easily get you know my wallet when trying to get out of a parking garage or anything else. I love, love, love this feature. This is um, a feature I don't know if it was designed with women in mind but it is perfect for a woman with a purse.